The difference is here, not only can I take my hands off the wheel, I can take my eyes off of the road. In Super Cruise or Blue Cruise, um, and indeed with Tesla's uh, quote unquote full self driving, you are still in control of the car, you're responsible. But now- I have two phrases for you. The first being conditionally automated driving. The second, operational design domain. These two phrases are strategically chosen by Mercedes-Benz to market their new driver assistance system called Drive Pilot and is touted as the Tesla full self-driving killer as Mercedes-Benz has achieved level 3 autonomy, which is defined by the car's environmental detection capabilities, allowing the vehicle to perform most driving tasks, but human override is still required, but constant monitoring of the system isn't required. So Mercedes wins, right? Maybe you're suspicious of the media's claim, though. The Verge has said Mercedes is once again a step ahead. And Gadget calls it an impressive feat. And Forbes compared DrivePilot to the first modems delivering internet data to your home. This is high praise. I think Tesla should be worried over this accomplishment. Well, until you find out the requirements and driving conditions for the system to be activated. Curious? Let's check them out. Number one, it's only approved for two states, California and Nevada. Number two, only works in specific cities of those two states, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Sacramento, San Diego, and Las Vegas, and includes highways that connect those cities. But number three, those highways must be sufficiently HD mapped and in their database. Number four, lane lines and bot dots are present and clearly visible. Number five, lane width is sufficient. Number six, the road is dry and all the sensors are unobstructed. Number seven, Vehicle speed must be 40 miles per hour or lower. Number eight, heavy traffic conditions only as a lead car must be available in front of you. Number nine, daytime only. Number 10, no flashing lights in the vicinity. Number 11, no highway interchanges. And number 12, it cannot change lanes. Wow, if a conditionally automated driving name system has ever been more on the nose. Tesla's investor relations head, Martin Viecha, chimed in with his agreement over the shocking number of conditions in the supposed advancement in self-driving technology, saying, I do wonder what percentage of annual driving is done under those conditions. Great question, especially when it's reserved for only the persons living in high cost of living areas, driving very expensive high-end luxury cars, and requiring a $2,500 a year subscription to do less than a Tesla? And while speaking about cost, the lowest priced Teslas can have FSD activate on them, whereas Mercedes is only offering drive pilot on the S-Class and EQS, which are both north of $100,000. When I describe the sensor redundancy of the system, you might begin to understand why the lower cost Mercedes can't be financially viable carriers of these sensors. Number one, cameras. Number two, radar. Three, LiDAR. Number four, GPS. Number five, ultrasonics. Number six, acoustics. And number seven, moisture sensors. So now you get it. Mercedes is going that route. It's like an underpowered robotaxi with only a front and rear facing camera at that, which probably limits its ability to use its level three to change lanes and avoids highway interchanges. At the end of the day though, Tesla owners should be thankful for Mercedes venture into self-driving level three software. The reason for this is no different than why we should be thankful for Cruise and Waymo pushing forward trying to achieve level four autonomy in various jurisdictions. The legal and regulatory headwinds are massive for this technology and recently caused Volkswagen and Audi to give up this very limited version of autonomy because of those legal challenges. As Tesla's competitors push forward with self-driving offerings, they help clarify the cloudy laws and rules all over the country, allowing Tesla to slip in with full self-driving, knowing exactly what is required of it to be approved. So thank you, Mercedes and DrivePilot.